My HIV journey is something which is remarkable to my life. Nobody could have a feeling or an expectation that by today I'll be like the way I am now. My name is Jesuin Kalombola. I'm a youth advocate and a feminist. When I was 13 years old, that's when I met a mentor mother of Mothers to Mothers. Her name was Toko. The mentor mother asked permission from my mom if she can disclose about my HIV status. Stigma was the biggest challenge. You have the feeling that uh, you are not accepted, you, you are not equal to others. But that mentor mother took me from there. She kept on encouraging me that no matter what, life does not go like that. It was really my wish that I should also impact the same impact to other young people who are also in the same situation like mine, that I should also encourage them. My main law as a mentor mother is that I do support teen mothers and young people. We work hand in hand with the Ministry of Health. We also advise our clients on nutrition and we also advise our clients on vaccines. We encourage the young girls from the age of 9 to 14 years to go for HPV vaccine. HPV is a human papilloma virus, the virus that causes cervical cancer. There's a lot of stigma and misinformation about HPV in the communities. A lot of people have um, a lot of questions. These issues might be addressed during our outreach campaigns. We we'll mobilize the young people so that they can get uh, vaccinated. And we we'll make sure that uh, we as mental mothers, we have share the information to their parents. People trust us. Since we are coming from the same community, and whatever we tell the people in the community, they will take that as very important. Myself, I really encourage that it's very good for uh, these young girls to get vaccinated, to avoid the things which can come in future. My main vision is that uh, we should have uh, HIV-free Malawi. I felt that I've achieved my goal. By the time I recognize that people can recognize me and people can get motivated through my stories, that's when I knew that, ah, I've really made it, that I can change somebody's life. So we need to save our girls now to prevent them from cervical cancer. No woman to die of cervical cancer and that can be possible if we encourage these vaccines.